Welcome to the Franco-Prussian War, my friends. We are That's here in Saarbrücken, and actually we're going to be playing as the French. Napoleon III's French, to be exact, against the Prussians right across the way. Now, this particular fight is supposed to be a particularly large one, um, so we want to be aware, we want to be prepared. What I'm going to try to do is actually get into these buildings uh, and essentially use their defensive capabilities against the Prussians. That being said, they're also trying to advance to that group of buildings, so I'm not entirely sure we're going to be able to get there in time. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and start moving everybody forward. I think I'm actually going to bring this guy along here and try to make this a really strong line. In fact, uh, I'll even have the cavalry sort of uh, parade ahead. And we've got some units here in the middle. We definitely need to split this army, something I don't typically like doing. And I'd also like not to split it over there in the woods, because then they get absolutely stuck. Let's put them here. And let's take these gentlemen over here. This is just hoping that the enemy is going to take that right side. Only time will tell. Yes, indeed. Let's see which side they're determining to take. And it looks like, yep, they're doing exactly what we're doing, sending some forces over here. Maybe even some going over here to this building area. I'd like to avoid fighting there because otherwise they're going to use that defensive structure to their ability. All right, there we go. We've got plenty of our line infantry moving forward. Love those Franco-Prussian uniforms as well. Just beautiful. Now, our Chassepol rifle should be better than the Prussian rifles. That being said, I believe the actual firing rate is much higher for the Prussians. Um, nope, sorry, it's fire for the French, excuse me. However, the actual logistics and um, supplies that the Prussians are receiving, well, let's just say that they're doing pretty well for themselves. Now, there we go once again back to the order phase, and as you know, my biggest goal is to get up there as quickly as possible. In fact, getting our cannon up there as well with the infantry would be an added bonus. As you can see, they're mostly sending their troops there, so I feel even better um, about having moved this group forward. Um, and as for this group on the right side, I absolutely still want to put up a defense, but that's about the extent of it, guys. If you see that hill right there, I'd like to get my guys on top of the hill and essentially hold that position. I'll also use the cavalry here as a sort of harassing force uh, in case the enemy actually decides to cross that river. All right, that looks acceptable to me, I believe. Let's go ahead and end that turn. All those. You can also see there, guys, that the Prussians have two very large armies. We're not simply facing one group of Prussians. We're facing two armies with a single French army. Definitely going to be an interesting fight, to say the least. Take a look. Yep, look at that. They are absolutely making it across. Now, that is cause for concern. However, it is a cavalry unit, so I'm hoping we could shoot it down pretty quickly. There we go. Cavalry has taken position. Vive la France. So, one, two. Hopefully, that's all they're going to send that way. First things first, friends. Put the line infantry up here. The question is, can we get a shot? Oh, we are so close. So I'm going to keep the line infantry up here and just put them on fire at will. I'm going to do the same with this unit. My main goal, of course, is to get the position on top of that hill. As far as I'm concerned, that's the most important thing. Um, I'm even going to leave the cavalry there. I'm not going to mess with him. Take this infantry unit, push him forward. Um, and this one will sort of support the rear. But honestly, I'm not even sure we should have this one here. Seems like a bit of a waste. In the meantime, let's take those defensive positions as quickly as possible. Right there, right there. Even this guy right up here, because he can absolutely fire across the river. Um, as for this group of men, I'm going to do the same. Trying to avoid that force, because again, if we get into the woods, we will get bogged down. That looks like a pretty fair movement to me. Let's go for it. Bien sûr, mon général. 
And here we go, guys. The moment of truth. The Prussians are crossing right across that river there. I wonder if our men will actually get a shot on them. No matter what the case may be, we are going to pepper them with fire. There we go. Come on, come on. Beautiful. Look at that. A nice little volley to start with. But that cavalry is getting really close, man. It would have been nice to change formation. And we can certainly still change into an anti-cavalry formation. Um, I think we almost have to. That might be the first thing we do here. And sure enough, the enemy's not really pushing over here that much. They may have already detected that that's simply not an option. All right, I've got an idea of how I want to do this. Um, first things first. Well, look at that. We got that wonderful suppressive fire. But I'd like to go here. I'd like to change that formation into a square. There we go. And I believe we might even still be able to fire. How awesome is that? So we can do the square formation and we can shoot there. I'm going to make sure that... Yep, sure enough, that works. Uh, do the same thing here with this unit. I'm not sure I want to do the square formation, though. I think I just want to go ahead and open fire. Fire at will. Now, with Lisa. our cavalry, very risky, but I'm sort of getting them into the into position there. De ligne. Uh, with this group, we shall also open fire, although this time I'll actually open fire on the men advancing across the bridge there. And with the chassepots, we can fire twice, I believe. So that's uh, two shots there. Infantry de ligne. Got another group over here, but I'm not going to mess too much with that line infantry. What I am going to do... Start actually moving these guys forward. We'll cancel that final order. And just simply make sure that he is facing the enemy. There we go. Same thing with this group here. Although I'm thinking with the rest of our infantry, we should actually go ahead and move to the right. Um, I mean, they don't have much advancing over here. Or if they do, it's going to take a while to arrive. So you know what? We are going to start marching this way towards the other battlefield. Why not? I'll also bring this guy along. And put him in Infantry reserve. C'est très bien. I think that is going to work out wonderfully. Infantry de ligne. But of course, this line infantry moving forward as well. We'll keep him like this just in case the cavalry actually breaks through. I highly doubt that's going to occur. But let's see. Infantry de ligne. Bien sûr, mon général. Ah, bon, fou. All right, there we go. Charging the square formation. Let's hope that that square holds on. And sure enough, look at that, a clash right there with the enemy. They did move forward with those infantry units. The question is, will our cavalry come out on top? There we go. Fantastic frontal hit. And with that hill position, of course, it's that much more devastating. Another frontal hit. You can see the Prussian line breaking apart. Let's go over here. And there we go, guys. Wow, they are going to try to push across the bridge here. Trying to, of course, cross from Saarbrücken into our side of the battlefield. I'm so tempted to fire there on the left side first, but I'm certain that this right side is much more important to deal with. They're, they're going to resolve the combat phase there, and sure enough, it continues. But guys, our men are holding on against that cavalry. It's making me very, very happy. And what I'm going to do with our line infantry is... In fact, we could do a rear charge. Here's what we're going to do. Boom. Rear charge. Um, What I will do... I'll push forward with the infantry off the hill. I know it seems insane, but I think this is going to be the right move. Leave him on the hill. De ligne. And we're simply going to replace their position with another infantry unit. In fact, I'm going to hold on with him. Uh, the reason being, I want to flip these guys around and I want to start firing Infantry with these guys. Ligne. So here we go. Uh, we'll simply keep them on fire at will. We should cannon be able to quatre. fire the artillery. Sure enough, guys. So we're going to go ahead and fire the cannon. I'm guessing they would have already moved forward once that occurs. Infantry Push this ligne. infantry into position as well. And as for these two guys, only time will tell. I'm actually just going to start setting them up um, in a front-facing motion. And let's go for it, folks. Here we go. Vive la France! Vive le pays! 
There we go. Beautiful rear charge. Immediately started dispersing the men. I don't think they have much left here. Let's see. So there we go. They're getting to the bridge. And man, they are absolutely trying to push this area here. Um, I'm hoping the suppressive fire keeps them down. Looks like the artillery is already pulverizing them. But we need to focus all fire ahead of us, guys. We need to make sure to stop this threat immediately. I'm thinking that that melee phase will resolve soon. Um, as you can see, we've destroyed them over here as well. Um, but I'm not going to focus on the guys over here. I'm going to focus on the guys on this side of the bridge. And we are just going to try and pepper the enemy there with shot. Again, let's not forget that with the Shaspos... We really have the opportunity to just do devastating damage and also to get several volleys. Speaking of several volleys, I'm going to try to actually bring this guy in and see if he can't administer some devastating gunfire. It doesn't look like it. And again, guys, we're going to send in another group of infantry. I thought we'd be able to attack directly from the hill, but I suspect we need to wait just a bit. Um, let me grab that cavalry. And I'm going to try to do a rear charge on the enemy cavalry there on the hill. I'd also ask, if you got this far in the video, type Legion in the comments down below and uh, hit that like button. Here we go. Merci beaucoup for that. There we go. Crossing. Do we get a shot? Beautiful. Nice frontal hit there. And they are in a nice large group there. Quite easy to pick them out. You can see a group of Prussians running in terror from the bridge. That's exactly what we want to see. And there we go, guys. We did the charge there. I'm not sure why it counts as a frontal charge, seeing as we came in from the back. But I have to give it to the Prussian cavalry. They've held on a very long time. They really have. Uh, just to be certain, make sure the enemy doesn't arrive with their reinforcements and wipe us off the field. Um, I am going to start pushing towards those buildings so that we have yet another defensive position. Uh, as for the men right here, I certainly could charge across the bridge. But I'm going to go ahead and let the Shuspo rifles do their work and do their worst, indeed. And I'm even going to charge with that infantry unit there. Um, trying to route the enemy off the bridge, of course. Although it should take a little while. There we go, man. They are definitely trying to get across the bridge. Even sending the cavalry back a bit. They may start... They may be realizing that this is not a fight they can win without some artillery support. Charge it! Sure enough, guys, I am seeing other enemy units. Looks like the battle finally resolved up here against the cavalry. Not without losing, though, uh, nearly half of that infantry unit. Take this gentleman and simply start pushing forward. Uh, same with you. And again, what we're trying to do is simply get to that group of buildings and make them our own. Infantry de ligne. Another charge uh, with our artillery. I'm going to try to hit the enemy, although it looks like they're actually at great distance. So let's just get closer with our infantry. And who knows, we could even use them as skirmishers against the uh, enemy if we get lucky. Maybe even shoot them across the bridge and stop that threat uh, immediately, essentially. There we go. We've only destroyed half the enemy army, but it's we're actually facing two enemy armies here. So I'm guessing... This is the second one arriving. You can see there is a cutoff point there, um, if you look at the percentages. Though at some point they are going to have to call it a victory for us. Here we go, charge it. Another front charge. They're still holding strong. I must say the Austrians are pretty, excuse me, the um, Germans are pretty good at withstanding those charges. 
and I'm I'm thinking that likely that unit will be destroyed next turn, our unit, but we're going to have this one following up, so hopefully that's going to be sufficient um, to damage the enemy. I'm even going to start crossing with some of my units, as you can see, just in an effort uh, to get the best shot possible, de ligne. and let's start getting across the bridge. As you can see, we've got our um, cavalry there already. Infanterie de ligne. I'm also going to be crossing the bridge with these additional infantry units. I figure, why not? I think that combat's going to resolve on its own. Cavalry. So far, no contacts over there. Looking pretty good. And it actually looks like the enemy army is falling back a little bit. So they're not liking all this pressure. That's for sure. There we go, guys. The combat has resolved. Now, many good Frenchmen have died as well. As you can see, we lost an entire unit there. But these men, the infantry of the line, made it through. Um, and what are we going to do? We're, sim we're simply going to advance and commence firing. That's right, with those chassepots. If we can, we'll hit them with the artillery. I'm surprised that can't hit them at that distance. Oh, well. Um, let's move in, and again, I, I never like to move through the forest like this, but I would make an exception, although we are bogged down because of the terrain here. Um, certainly Lisa. not the friendliest looking terrain. Infanterie de ligne. Infanterie de ligne. And as you can see, I'm simply advancing that line, just making sure that the men are continuing to cross. Uh, it's that simple. You know, at this point, we can take the advantage. We've defended sufficiently. I think we can cross this river and come out with a victory. Abwe full. Here we go. Nice volley against the cavalry. And I love that double volley there from the Shaspo rifles. Alright, first things first, cannon time, boys. We are simply going to open up with those cannons, open up with the infantry. I could have put them into formation, which actually is probably a better idea, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, let's bring this infantry unit back, just slowly start pulling him back. We might even be able to get a shot with him. Hussar! Infanterie de ligne. Let's finish it up. Ce sera fait. There we go. Frontal hit. Now they are charging, believe it or not. I almost hope that our men will go ahead and open fire on our own troops just to be able to finish them off once and for all. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the finishing blow, uh, even if we have to wait till next turn for that combat to resolve. Let's see, there we go, and continuous fighting there. And there we go, guys, a belle victory for France. Hope you guys enjoyed. For those of you wondering, this is, of course, 
um, part of the Crimean War campaign. It's one of the larger battles that I've had so far, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you want to see more battles like this, like, comment, and subscribe. And I want to thank everybody so much for stopping by the video. There's the final tally, the final kill count, as it were. 896 dead, 529 wounded on the French side. Let's salute those brave soldiers. But over 3,000 dead on the Prussians. Vive la France!